Sharks are some of the most widespread and diverse groups of fish ever to swim our oceans. For millions of years, they've ruled and evolved into various different niches, the most famous of which being predators of Earth's waterways. From speedy fish stalkers, to hammer-headed hunters, to massive apex predators. That said, shark evolution has nevertheless taken weird routes, with these fish and their relatives adapting to various niches and taking advantage of different strategies and adaptations in order to survive. One of the weirdest sharks is a denizen from the Cretaceous oceans of 95 million years ago. And needless to say, it was certainly different from your typical shark, sporting a peculiar set of wing-like fins. This bizarre shark is simply known as the eagle shark. As implied by its name, the eagle shark has a very unique set of fins. This Cretaceous-era shark had evolved a specialized pair of pectoral fins that spanned 2 meters wide. That's as wide as the shark's total body length. Upon first glance, these specialized fins are similar to those of manta rays, and you wouldn't be far off to assume they were used for a similar purpose. Like manta rays, the eagle shark would use their underwater wings to maneuver and steer through the water. However, when diving deeper into the anatomy of the two, one can see that things aren't quite what meets the eye. While they appear similar to those of manta rays and mobula, eagle sharks operated quite differently in terms of moving through the water. Whereas mantas fly through the water using their wings to propel them, eagle sharks use their wings to glide through the water, while they use their tails to propel themselves, like other sharks do. This adaptation would allow the animal to steer themselves as they passively maneuver through the water helping them to make dynamic and graceful movements. Not only that, but their torpedo-shaped bodies allowed them to be incredibly hydrodynamic. The wings of eagle sharks aren't the only similarities it shares with manta rays. Thanks to this combination of specializations, including a broad head, indicates that eagle sharks were potentially planktivorous feeders, meaning they were feeding on plankton and small organisms as they swam through the water through the use of filter feeding. Planktivory in sharks isn't something new. In fact, the biggest sharks alive today are filter feeders, like basking sharks and whale sharks. Whale sharks in particular are the biggest fish alive today, able to grow up to 33 feet and approximately 19 tons. That's over 40,000 pounds, or 18,000 kilograms for those who use the metric system. However, what's interesting is that, because of this diet, eagle sharks seem to have evolved similar adaptations to manta rays, indicating that eagle sharks evolved these traits by exploiting a similar food source and role in their ecosystems. This is what is known as convergent evolution, where two unrelated or distantly related animals evolve similar characteristics based on exploiting a similar niche or adaptation or sharing a similar role in their ecosystems, causing them to either look similar or develop similar adaptations. However, despite their similarities with manta rays and whale sharks, eagle sharks weren't related to either. Instead, eagle sharks are currently classified as mackerel sharks. Mackerel sharks, or lamniforms, are an order of sharks that have survived to the modern day, and consist of a diverse variety of hunters such as the great white shark and mako shark, to more unusual creatures of the deep like goblin sharks, or even passive surface swimmers like the basking shark, which, funnily enough, is also a filter feeder. Eagle sharks are a bit of a unique case from their counterparts because there aren't really any lamniforms like eagle sharks alive today, or even in the fossil record. So the eagle shark family as a whole is a bit of a mystery. Aquila lamina is currently the only solid member of the eagle shark family, but that doesn't mean it was alone, nor was its size the limit of the eagle sharks. In the paper describing the animal in 2021, it was suggested that other bizarre fossil sharks could have been part of this family, such as the humongous platylithophycus, a massive shark whose classification remains fairly unknown. But 
is thought to have been not only a species of eagle shark like Aquila lamina, but that this animal was absolutely massive. This in turn means that this lineage of sharks was not only odd, but were able to reach colossal sizes, with the possible correlation with filter feeding allowing some members to become huge. However, as dazzling as the eagle sharks were, no species lasts forever, especially in a constantly changing ocean. Based on the evidence present, unfortunately, ocean acidification seems to have been the cause for the eagle shark's downfall. What's more ominous is the growing acidification in our oceans today presents a grave threat for our modern sharks. The eagle sharks are a fascinating yet alien look into the extreme diversity of sharks, as a prime example of why this group of fish have managed to survive these many eons, thanks to their incredible ability to adapt and survive in the ever-changing waters of the world. However, with the future of our sharks growing ever more uncertain, it's also a reminder how crucial it is that we respect and most of all protect this crucial group of diverse fish that currently swim our waters in order to preserve their incredible diversity and the further diversity of our ocean life.